Good morning. Early start for me today, which is normal for me lately because I am a new dad, which is really exciting. So this is a bit of an update video on the 3D print farm garden that I've got going on and how it's been going lately and what's coming next. I started the day off how most days start. Printing shipping labels, signing them, and getting them to the mailbox as quickly as possible. Whenever I can, I try my best to get the packages in the mail for the 9 a.m. pickup because I want them to get there as fast as possible. You know that saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? I feel like my print farm is currently kind of just stuck in that mode. Like, it's working right, I'm selling my products, and I don't need to make it better. But this week, that is gonna change. You see, over the past four months, my life has gotten a lot busier. I took a full month off to help out with the baby, and then dove straight into my busiest season, the summer, for videography. Needless to say, I had a lot less time for 3D printing, prototyping, designing, coming up with new products. And throughout this whole season, my 3D print garden has been going strong. Uh, other than a couple clogged nozzles, I basically have had no problems. And thankfully, all my sales on Etsy and Shopify have continued on. So that's been a huge help throughout these busy, difficult months. So now that I'm finally getting caught up on my regular job, I'm finding the time to tinker and prototype and get a few things off of my ever-growing to-do list. Like this project, for example. Since our new car seat barely fit into our old car, we needed to get something a bit bigger that we can grow into, but it doesn't have an easy way to mount the phone, and I don't want to use any adhesives on the leather, so I told my wife that I would make a magnetic mount. I think today I'm only going to have time to scan it, and hopefully tomorrow I'll have time to model it. Or this project that I'm making for our neighbor of an AC hose adapter that's going to go through a plexiglass window. Or this latch that I'm using to fix our dog gate. Or these slats that I'm making to ensure that our baby room lets no light in anymore. Or this soon to be really soft eyepiece for this camera. For me, the ideas, they're endless. It's the execution and the time to convert on these ideas that I need more of. So with that, we're gonna wrap up here for today because I'm taking the wife and the daughter to the beach. Since the summer days have been so awesome, I've been waking up at 4 a.m. so that we can take advantage of these great weather days as much as possible while still getting enough time to complete my work and get ahead on some of these projects. After a short night of sleep, I was up at 4 a.m. again, biking back to the studio. Last night, I actually popped over to my friend's house to make sure that the threads on my AC hose adapter project would line up, which they did not. So I adjusted the threading, the sizing, and a few other small details before preparing it in Bamboo Studio. Then I imported yesterday's scan from the car, but honestly, I'm not sure where to start on this one. It's a good challenge for me as nothing is straight and there's a lot of curves, so I may come back to this one tomorrow. By that time, the AC hose adapter was ready for me to install the magnets. I use a bit of glue to make sure that they don't move around. And if I make another one of these again, I'll close up the tolerances a bit on the magnet holes. Since Transparent Petchy likes it slow and hot, this print will end up taking a full 24 hours, so it won't be ready until tomorrow morning. Finishing out my morning, I did some test cuts on plexiglass with a router and some new carbide bits for the AC project, which I'll be finishing out tomorrow. And then it's back to reality. I have four hours worth of interviews and B-roll to cut through and hopefully get a rough draft done by the end of the day, so it's time to focus on my day job again for a bit. And now that my brain is officially mush, it's time to focus on some brainless activities. I got a delivery of boxes, so I put those away and, th and then realized I wanted to move a few things around and do a bit of cleanup. So I got things moving in the office a bit as I have a new piece of equipment coming this week I'm very, very, very excited about. 
that's one of the things that's easiest to miss in a print farm is making sure that I have all the supplies I need. So that's filament, boxes, packaging, tape. Uh, I use the threaded inserts and camera screws. I actually have to order like 2,000 of those because it's a lot cheaper if you bulk order. So I think this month alone, I will have spent, I think $4,000 on supplies for my print farm. So that's always interesting to see that kind of ebb and flow. You have higher months and then you have lower months and then the sales hopefully will just be steady through it all. And of course, print some labels for today's sales to get them into the mail before today's 3.30 p.m. cutoff. Then it's back to the beach with the fam. After we got home, I checked in on my print real quick just to make sure everything was going smooth and then settled in for another beautiful night. Before I was up at 4 a.m., bringing some supplies back to the office. One of my favorite moments every morning coming to work is opening up my print closet here and seeing all the successful prints that happened through the night. Ooh, we got an exciting one. This actually just finished up as I walked in. The AC hose adapter. All right, I'm excited to get this one off the build plate. I'm still printing my products eight at a time, basically 24 seven if I can time it right. Um, so nothing has changed there. Those are still churning away. I basically just have the two printers running nonstop and that's keeping these in stock. All right, look at this thing. She just finished up this morning as well. Successful night of printing. Of the, ooh, it's magnetic. It just popped right off of there. And this is what we're gonna put in the plexiglass. So, oh, that's nice. Oof. Before I have to get my day job going, I am gonna finish cutting this plexiglass. This is the part I've been procrastinating the most because it's not something I've ever done, cutting plexiglass with saws. I prefer lasers, but I don't have a CO2 laser and I don't really wanna figure, find someone that can do it because uh, this needs to be an affordable project to make sense because I'm gonna offer it to my neighbors. So we have a hole and our insert fits great. So this is awesome news. So just gotta cut the total size down a little bit to fit in the window and then we'll be ready to install it. I'm gonna do it this weekend. I had hoped to do more with today, but I had a lot of work to do for my clients. So that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today. I'm just gonna sneak in one more quick Infinity model. I'm working on a organizational system for my camera bench um, using this really great Sunlu filament that I got my hands on. But that's for a future video. I'll show this whole thing. For now, I'm just going to sneak this one onto the printer before I head out for the day. It's only 1 p.m., but we're headed out to a lake to go paddle boarding with the pup. Got to take advantage of these beautiful summer days before the rain comes in the winter. I was actually hoping to do a bit of an unboxing today as well. I'm really, really excited about this new machine that I've got coming, but it's being delayed in transit, so it doesn't look like it's gonna arrive today anymore. So hopefully Friday, you guys will get to see what that is. I'm very, very, very excited about it. I dropped some packages off at the mail and then received a few boxes of filament for my friend at Next3D Kamal. I got a few hours of sleep and headed back to work to unload all of the film. It's a bit of a tight squeeze getting into my studio, but we got it all in here anyways. So this is what 50 kilograms of filament looks like. For some reason, Two of the boxes are the old style and the rest are the new one. 
During the bamboo anniversary sale, I picked up another 50 kilograms because it was on such a good sale price, which is the best way to buy bamboo filament when it goes on sale. Let's get this put away now. Without a doubt, the least favorite part of running a print shop for me is lost packages. It happens. So I woke up with three messages today about people who have been waiting for a long time and still don't have their packages. And that's really frustrating for them and for me. So I spent a while sending messages, doing that kind of thing, just dealing with that. It's definitely my least favorite part of running a print shop. But I got four more orders since last night, so we're getting those in the morning for the early AM pickup. It's good to get a bit of fresh air on these early morning work days. I love this wide angle lens. I'm actually really tired today. Instead of wasting time, I'm gonna do a mindless activity, which is putting our threaded inserts into our quick release plates. Something that has to be done. I like to try it, stay on top of it, but at the very least I do it once a week. So we're gonna do that and then box some of these up and then we'll probably be done for the day. Cause I have to go down to Gastown today for a client meeting and shoot. So I'll be down there for the rest of the day. So I only actually have two hours in the studio today and I'm pretty sleepy. So we're just gonna get to it. We're gonna get through this and be out the door. Since my shop has been running on autopilot for like four months now, and my sales have been doing well on Etsy and average on Shopify, I'm selling about 40% to the US and 60% internationally. So I'm thinking about expanding to use Amazon USA. If any of you guys have done that, I'd love advice. If you think it's worth it, if you think I should expand into Amazon, I've heard mixed reviews, so I'd love to hear what some of you other sellers have, have experienced and that'll probably be something I try to roll out in the next couple of months. I've been updating the DHL tracking pretty constantly and the new tool that's coming is in BC. So that's great news. It made it uh, through customs. So I'm hoping it gets delivered today. If not tomorrow, now that my two hours are up, I got to go to work and then we're going to the beach again because it's beautiful out. And then hopefully I'll have a bit more energy tomorrow. Which brings us to Friday. I woke up feeling refreshed after a better sleep and tried to get to the studio as quickly as I could to see what happened with my overnight prints. Oh. So unfortunately, it looks like we had a partial clog last night in this set of eight. So that's the downside to running eight of these at a time and doing long prints versus setting up some sort of automation where it does one at a time um, is when you have an issue you lose the whole set so that's one roll of filament gone which sucks it happens maybe I don't know one in 50 maybe one in a hundred times it's definitely not a common occurrence but the other eight are great and I'll get these processed and get the next prints going when I print eight of these products at a time in Bamboo Studio, it says it will take 1,003 grams. But when it's done, there's still like 50-ish, 80 grams of filament left on the spools. So every week or two, I connect all the end little bits to get myself a free roll of filament. It's about a five minute process with four and a half of that waiting for it to cool down. So it ends up giving me a good work challenge where I try to do as much as I possibly can in that four and a half minutes before the buzzer goes off again. Fun fact, that was an hour and 20 long minute video clip and the ZVE one did not overheat. Then I got distracted for about two hours researching a new product idea, which is very exciting and hopefully I can execute on it. But as per usual, I don't have enough time to get everything done in one day. So this is all the things that I printed this week that I didn't show on camera yet. I finished out the day doing client work because that is my day job and I gotta keep my clients happy. But when I wasn't doing video editing, I was tinkering in Fusion 360, trying to get a few products done because I'm very, very close with two new products. 
I'm really excited to launch those. Unfortunately, my mystery package has not arrived yet. DHL is saying that it's gonna be delivered tonight at 9.30, but it also said that yesterday, so I'm not that optimistic. It's also a long weekend. I really hope I get it tonight so I can show you guys and because I'm really excited about it. And finally, we'll get the last batch of sales into the post office before the long weekend starts. On Saturday, I finally finished my friend's AC hose adapter project, which turned out quite nicely. It just snaps in there. So I think they're gonna be really happy about that. So I think they're gonna be really happy about that. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you don't already. And let me know in the comments below what you think the mystery package is that never arrived. I'm hoping to get it Tuesday, but you'll have to wait and find out. My one hint is that it's very heavy. A lot heavier than my Bamboo Lab printers. See you guys next time.